Hello to all of my Star Wars book nerds. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Today we are going to be talking about Star Wars The High Republic and the first uh, book in the High Republic series is Star Wars High Republic Light of the Jedi. Now this book came out about a month ago and I know I'm a little bit late but I don't get early access to these novels so here I am. So, But to make up for it, uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not just going to be um, a little... It's not just going to be a review. I'm going to be giving you a little bit of background on some of the characters in the novel because at times it can kind of be hard to kind of... to keep track of everyone in the novel because this novel is told from the points of view of so many different characters. And before I get into all of this, I just wanted to introduce my co-star who's making a cameo appearance in today's video. Here he is. Of course, it's the one and only Go Grogu. How you doing, Grogu? Ah. Yep. Sounds like you're doing, doing pretty good. So Grogu is going to help me out here today. So let's get into it. This is Star Wars Light of the Jedi. Grogu is going to be trying to talk over me today, but that's okay. Uh, Light of the Jedi is written by... The one and only Charles Soule. And if you don't know Charles Soule, he's actually a, a very seasoned Star Wars writer. He's worked on uh, dozens of Star Wars books, uh, comic books in particular. Uh, he actually started off as a comic book writer. He has uh, written some other uh, novels uh, that are not related to the Star Wars universe. But um, in the Star Wars world, he's primarily known for uh, his comics. He's written Star Wars Lando, Star Wars Obi-Wan and Anakin, Star Wars, Wars Poe Dameron, Darth Vader, Rise of Kylo Ren, and he's also working on the uh, ongoing Star Wars series. Uh, so let's get into some of these uh, characters that you're going to be seeing in the novel uh, before I kind of review the plot. This is uh, Avar Chris. Uh, she is a uh, Jedi and she is a very respected member of the Jedi Order. She is a master. She's a, a master at a very young age. Uh, she's only in her 30s. Uh, and uh, she's about the, as close as you can get to a main character in this uh, novel. Like I said, there are just so many characters. And, uh, and you know, there really isn't a main character, but uh, there's a lot of focus on, on her. Uh, next up, we have uh, Elzar Mann. And uh, Elzar Mann is uh, a very, very good friend of uh, Avar Chris is. He's also part of the Jedi Order, but he's not yet a Jedi Master. He, he kind of has some unorthodox ways of doing things, and that is likely what kind of held him back uh, from becoming a Master. But uh, he and Avar are, are really close, and they've been uh, really close since they were Padawans. Um, and he and, uh, and Avar uh, are, uh, work very, very closely together uh, in this novel. This is a Chancellor... So, so um, the High Republic takes place about, I think it was 200 years before uh, the events of uh, the original Star Wars trilogy. So uh, the Republic is at its greatest here, hence the name, the, uh, the High Republic. And uh, <clears throat> you can really feel a difference in uh, kind of the atmosphere in within the Republic between uh, what's going on in this book and even... Uh, from from the prequels it's a, you you really can appreciate how messed up things are in the prequels um when you read this book and see how almost perfect everything is and how wonderfully the republic runs uh during this period so chancellor so clearly is uh the chancellor of the republic there's two things that she has next to her are um her pets i guess they're they kind of look like lions with uh with four eyes. I don't remember what those creatures are called. This is Bel Zadifar. Uh, he is a Padawan. Um, he also plays a huge role in this book. Uh, he and his master, who is a Loden Great Storm, uh, they're off in a different part of the galaxy uh, doing basically Jedi things. I don't want to really get into spoilers here, but. Uh, they, uh, they are helping out with uh, the effort in this book uh, as well, and they play a huge, huge role. And again, this is Loden Great Storm. Like I mentioned, his, um, 
his master. Uh, and of course, we have Master Yoda. Now, Master Yoda, um, we know uh, from Return of the Jedi, he's like 900 years old. So clearly, they had to include Master Yoda in this book and the High Republic just because, you know, he's he's so old <laughs> and he clearly would exist at this time. Uh, but Master Yoda, he's only mentioned a few times. He has a little bit of a cameo appearance, but he does not play uh, an overall huge role in the High Republic. Uh, he is, by this time, though, already uh, a very respected and high-ranking master in the Jedi Order. Uh, and that brings us to the, the Nile. Uh, the Nile are the villains of, uh, of, of the High Republic. And uh, they're actually like marauders, the kind of space pirates. They, they loot, they pillage. And I know we've seen these types of, um, of villains and characters in Star Wars before, but uh, I, I would really kind of um, encourage you to be patient and kind of give this a chance. Because like when I first heard that the villains were not going to be Sith, they were going to be marauders, I was kind of like, oh, they're kind of like the Exchange or any other criminal organization in, uh, in the galaxy. But they're not. There is something very unique about them. And it's really cool, and you really kind of uh, appreciate this organization uh, by the end of the novel. They're really cool. And you know what? I, I kind of understand where they were going with this. The Sith are always the villains. They're going to have to they're gonna have to change it up a little bit, right? So, um, yeah. So I, I really enjoyed the, uh, the Nile. Uh, this is Skier, Master Skier, member of the Jedi Order as well. Plays a minor role in this story. I just thought it was cool that he's a Tran Trandoshan. Uh, the Trandoshans are usually um, one of the more evil races uh, that are portrayed in Star Wars. So I thought it was kind of cool that they made a, um, a Trandoshan Jedi. And funny enough, there's also a... Wookiee Jedi. I don't think we've ever seen a Wookiee Jedi. Uh, this character here is uh, Boryaga, and he's actually a he's a Padawan. He's not really a, a Jedi yet, but uh, he he plays a kind of a cool role in this novel as well. And I think you'll really enjoy seeing a uh, a Wookiee Jedi. His dynamic uh, with the rest of the characters in the novel is very interesting, just because he doesn't speak Galactic Basic. He only speaks uh, Shiriwook. And uh, this is Nibasek, that is uh, Briaga's master. So uh, what do I think of this book? Uh, overall, I really enjoyed uh, The High Republic. Uh, leading up to the release of this book, I was seeing a lot of hate for uh, The High Republic, you know, just based on all the toxic fandom with respect to Star Wars that has been kind of floating around the internet recently. And I'll admit, I did not like the prequels either. I, or sorry, not the prequels, the uh, the sequel trilogy. I did not like the sequel trilogy at all. But uh, I'm not I'm not one of those fans that's going to write off everything else that uh, Disney Star Wars does. I actually really enjoyed this book. Uh, you could kind of tell it's new age with certain things that they do in this book, certain elements of it. But uh, the politics that is known. Uh, for being inherent in Disney Star Wars is not really in your face in this book. It's not going to prevent you from enjoying the story. I really enjoyed this story. Uh, I, I think Charles Soule does Star Wars amazingly, and it's just fantastic. Really kind of has this new frontier feeling to it. The Outer Rim uh, at this point is only just beginning to be explored and uh, what you're seeing here, this picture here, this is the picture of, uh, of an outpost that the Republic is setting up. It is called uh, Starlight Beacon. And uh, this is going to be the Republic's outpost in the Outer Rim. And it has this, like I said, this new frontier feeling where they're exploring these new worlds and they're setting up colonies and, and all uh, trade and economy in the Outer Rim and bringing all these Outer Rim planets together but of course there's the problem of the Nile and the main conflict in this book which is actually really really cool the the big the book the beginning of the book it, it just starts off with a bang uh absolutely love it 
uh, it, you're at the edge of your seat. I could barely put it down at the beginning, and it it, it kept me interest, interested uh, overall. Just absolutely wonderful. Uh, don't let any of the hate with respect to this book get to you at all. You know, you hear some people saying that, well, Avar Chris is a Mary Sue, just like, uh, just like Ray, or uh, you know, all these other characters. They're all they're all bland. No, the characters in this they're they're actually pretty interesting. Elzar Man, especially, um, he's an unor- he's an unorthodox Jedi, and uh, I really hope they do more with him in uh, in the in the future books. And Avar Chris is not she's not perfect. She's a, she's a she's a gifted Jedi, but she has her flaws too. And I think Charles Soule does a great job of uh, highlighting those. And I really hope that he, uh, in future books those those weaknesses and those conflicts that she has. Uh, are explored so absolutely it's a great book uh, the pacing's amazing uh, the plot's great at first it's a little difficult uh, to kind of get to know all of the characters and keep in touch that's why I included all, all that list of characters before but overall uh, fantastic book I highly highly recommend that you pick it up this is definitely Palpatine approved if you're interested in picking up this book today, uh, th- I'll put a link in the description where you can pick up your own copy. Again, highly, highly recommend picking it up. Grogu, what do you think of this book, huh? What do you think? Yep, it, it looks like Grogu approves of the book as well. So we have both light side and dark side approval. So that about does it for today. Uh, have you read Star Wars, The High Republic, Light of the Jedi. Uh, are you excited about this new publishing initiative that uh, Lucas Books is uh, is engaging in? I'd really like to hear your thoughts on The High Republic in general, because I know there's some High Republic comics too. What do you think of the comics? What do you think of these novels? Um, if you haven't read the book, do you plan on picking it up? Always love hearing from you. Till next time, this is Dante D signing off. We will see you all in the next episode.